What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Mello with Marty's Buick GMC and Chevrolet. And in today's video, I'll be showing you a sneak peek of Apple's newest CarPlay update. And I'm telling you right now, if you're a current CarPlay user, or maybe you're gonna be soon, you're absolutely gonna want to see this update. It's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the whole subscribe, like, hit the buttons thing. And uh, yeah, let's, let's just get right into it. All right, so for those of you who don't follow the tech space as much as I do, Apple had its Worldwide Developers Conference yesterday, and although normally I don't really care all that much about Apple's events, unless you know they're gonna show me what my next iPhone's gonna look like, when I heard rumors of a massive Apple CarPlay update, all right, you guys, you got my attention a little bit now. And this update turns out, yeah, it's awesome. And it's awesome whether you're a hardcore tech enthusiast or not. For starters, this is a complete overhaul of CarPlay giving your phone a much higher level of integration into your vehicle systems by not only just taking over your main display like you're used to, you know, you plug it in or you use it wirelessly, pops up on your main display, but also it's going to expand into any additional displays that may be inside the vehicle. Like for instance, the digital gauge clusters that we're now seeing in the 2022 Sierra and Silverado. Yeah, it, it's cool. Now, in addition to the ability to utilize multiple displays, CarPlay users will also be able to add you know, trip information, check the weather, live radar, utilize ways, see their fuel levels, charge levels, calendar updates, everything that you could possibly think of, all by utilizing brand new widgets, of course, designed by Apple, all of which also have the ability to scale in order to look great on any screen. So no matter where you put this thing, it's gonna look awesome. And in order to give you a better idea of what exactly to expect, I'm gonna shut up, and here's a quick look at exactly what Apple showed us yesterday. There's so much to explore here. Let's take a closer look. This next generation of CarPlay provides content for all the driver's screens, giving an experience that is unified and consistent. It's the very best of both your car and your iPhone, and it goes beyond what you can do with CarPlay today. Deep integration with the car's hardware lets you tune your car's radio or change your temperature without ever leaving the CarPlay experience. It also includes widgets powered by your iPhone that fit your screens perfectly. They can live front and center in the gauge cluster as well, giving you information at a glance. In fact, this next generation of CarPlay powers your entire instrument cluster. To do this, your iPhone communicates with your vehicle's real-time systems in an on-device, privacy-friendly way, showing all of your driving information, like speed, RPMs, fuel level, temperature, and more. And no matter what type of unique screen shapes or layouts you may have, this next generation of CarPlay feels like it was made specifically for your car. We're also excited to give you the ability to make the core of the driving experience unique to you. We carefully crafted instrument cluster options ranging from the modern to the traditional that use different colors, dial treatments, backgrounds, and layouts to provide various looks and feels you can choose different curated themes and styles for your gauges. This is just a taste of what the next generation of CarPlay will bring. Vehicles will start to be announced late next year, and we can't wait to show you more further down the road. That's pretty cool, right? Although they could have used a nicer looking interior to really display it all, but you know, whatever, nitpicking. Apple says that we'll be getting more updates as the year goes on, and I'm really excited to see where this goes because I'll be honest, I can't think of a single automotive infotainment system that is really all that great when it comes to the user experience. It's all just kind of meh. Apple, however, they've got that figured out. That, that's in the bag. And if we start getting more third-party developers jumping into the ring, this could get really interesting really fast with more customization, more personalization, and just more advancements to improve the connected experience inside your vehicle. And one of the first things that I actually thought of for, for an app, if someone takes this and runs with it, good for you. Uh, you know, think of like an off-road app. Maybe uh, it maps out the trails around me. 
And when I hit those trails, maybe it knows about the hazards on the trail and it displays them in augmented reality in front of me on the screens. You know, like I said, things could get really interesting really, really fast. According to Apple, 98% of all new cars already have CarPlay and 79% of users actually consider that feature before they make a purchase decision. So let me know in the comments below if you use Apple CarPlay now or what sort of features you'd like to see in the future, whether or not you're into this update, whether or not you care, maybe you don't. Uh, but as always, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you made it this far on the video, you know what to do, you know, help me out. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, stay up to date on all things General Motors. Be sure to check out my friends over at gmpartsdepartment.com for all your GM OEM parts needs, and I'll catch you all in the very next video. Thanks again for watching and take care.